Making a turn from a stop is critical on a motorcycle. For us here in the U.S., it's that right-hand turn because traffic's coming the opposite direction. For our riders in the U.K., that left-hand turn because you guys ride on the wrong side of the street. But that's a, another argument altogether. So we'll talk about turns from a stop. This is an exercise in the field guide. You can practice it there. But I thought it'd be a good time to review this exercise. We'll talk about the proper technique and the improper technique. And I'll show you both. We'll head out on the Speedmaster. We'll get out on a parking lot and we'll practice this out on an open parking lot. So let's get out of here, get out on the parking lot, and let's look at the proper technique to make a turn from a stop. So we're working on turns from a stop. The exercise is pretty simple. You can use any lines on the parking lot like this. If you've got a setup like this, you can use the line for the other parking space as your guide. You just want to be able to make this turn from a stop prior to reaching that other line. So, you know, shorter is always better. So practice on improving your skill. But you want to do this to the left and the right, practicing in both directions and just practice trying to do it before reaching the line on the other side of the parking space. If you need to extend it out, you know, you need to work on your skills initially. Don't work, stress about where you're actually performing the turn, but just work on proper technique. Before we get into the proper technique, I thought it'd be helpful to see me doing it incorrectly at first. So this is where a lot of riders make mistakes. Remember, my goal is to make this turn before reaching the next line in the parking spot. So let's see how I do using the improper technique. From the rider's perspective, I can see that I'm looking straight ahead and the handlebars are also straight. This causes me to go man, three quarters of the way through that parking spot before I can even begin my turn. Let's watch it again from that other angle. So now that we know what the improper technique looks like, let's look at the proper technique as I demonstrated again. So I did two things here. I turned the handlebars in the direction I want the motorcycle to go, and I turned my head, and I look in the direction I want the motorcycle to go. An important point here, let's say the lane in the opposing direction is that opposite parking spot so right here i don't want to look there i don't want to look at the cars coming the opposite direction i want to be looking here where i want the motorcycle to go just before giving a little bit of throttle and releasing that clutch into the friction zone i lean the motorcycle slightly into the turn so not enough where i'm having to struggle to hold the bike up but just leaning it slightly to give the bike an advantage to get through that corner so I'm looking where I want the motorcycle to go. I've got the handlebars turned in that direction and I lean the motorcycle slightly in that direction. All that's left now is to ease the clutch through the friction zone and make that corner. Turn your head, turn the handlebars, lean the motorcycle slightly, ease out on the clutch, make that turn. The technique for turns to the right are exactly the same. Turn your head, turn the handlebars, lean the motorcycle, ease the clutch into the friction zone as you make the turn. So when I'm doing these turns, I've got the handlebars at full lock and it stays at full lock just about all the way through that turn until I start to straighten the motorcycle up. If you struggle with the clutch and throttle, practice this in a straight line before you add the turn into it. You can just stop at every other line on the parking space. Focus on using smooth throttle and clutch into the friction zone. So I'm keeping that clutch in the friction zone between each and every one of these spaces. That's given me time to get used to that feel of the clutch. And then after you can do it in a straight line, then you can start adding the other techniques to make your turns tighter and your turns from a stop. So I hope you found this video helpful. Remember that proper technique, you wanna turn your head, turn the handlebars, ease that clutch out through the friction zone as you keep the handlebars at a full lock. If you're able to do this and do it within one parking space as we demonstrated, you'll have plenty of room on just about any road out on the street. That'll give you plenty of space to avoid that oncoming traffic. But remember the technique's important and you didn't learn that technique by watching this video. You need to get out on a parking lot. You need to practice it so that you know that you've got it the next time you need it out on the street. Till next week guys, it's Ken with MC Rider and I'll see you on the road.